Hey, I thought I would show the latest version of the uh, smart hand controller. Um, I was calling it version 2.0 plus. Uh, I have come up with a 3D printed case for it. Um, it still <clears throat> can, you know, right now I, I kind of like it for what it is. Uh, I know some people will uh, want different features. Uh, I'll show you some of the main features. Um, what I've done is uh, put removable plates on the top and the bottom. And this allows one quick, ac relatively quick access to the battery. Uh, you'll see how that operates here. So everything is physically captured. Um, this bottom part comes off. Uh, you can see I'm using heat set. Uh, threaded inserts. Uh, the top comes off also. Um, and then the battery access panel is a sliding um, capture, mechanically captured uh, panel. So it goes into these grooves and um, slides up. And then the bottom plate captures it in place mechanically. Um, so a uh, quick look inside. This is just a 2000 milliamp hour uh, lithium polymer battery. Um, lithium, yeah, LiPo. Uh, you can see space is tight. Uh, this is a uh, buck converter uh, to go from what's being input 5 volts down to 3.3 volts uh, for various things on the board. Um, the um, capacitor. So you can see I actually had to cut space here to allow that dimension to fit. One of my main goals was to make this dimension uh, as narrow as possible. And this is as narrow as I could get. Uh, so um, it took uh, quite a bit of effort to, to actually accomplish it. And um, so one thing, uh, you know, the battery tucks in nice, uh, the battery panel slides up in. We'll leave the bottom off now just for... Um, so again, the top is mechanically captured. Uh, I have uh, 3D printed pins sticking up that the board uh, locates on. Uh, a dab of hot glue is what I'm thinking to fasten down the PCB on those posts. Uh, the top, uh, I do have LED windows, uh, just clear filament that I printed in there to try to show battery status of the charger. It's not perfect. Uh, I will continue to work on this concept to try to provide better feedback. Um, this particular uh, PCB, I did add the three three millimeter LEDs at the top. I have them personally pointed outward that direction. Uh, you could have the LEDs facing downward uh, right to the PCB. So I will have access holes here. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, so uh, the top being mechanically captured, you slide it into the top and then push it down. And then um, the bottom will capture the top and, and bottom panels. Uh, this is clear filament meant to let the LEDs shine through. Uh, so let's go ahead and power it on. We got battery plugged in. I have a mini uh, ESP back here. Um, it is. It does have a uh, smart web server uh, ESP8266 on it. It is default settings. Um, it is using the on-step uh, uh, station mode, I believe it's called. I can always get station and, and the other one mixed up. Uh, but it's its own self-contained Wi-Fi uh, network. Uh, it is broadcasting a Wi-Fi network called on-step. And the login and the password is on-step, or on-step and, and, and the password is password. So this PCB I have set up to connect to uh, the OnStep Wi-Fi network. So this 
uh, PCB or, or ESP32 is going to go out and look for the Wi-Fi network called OnStep. So it's going to find it. It's going to use the password and the login to connect to it. So now we'll have this smart hand controller connecting to this uh, mini ESP's Wi-Fi network. They will be joined. They will be on the same network. The IP address of this is the standard 192.168.0.1. I think I said that right last time. But anyways, default settings pretty much, uh, just for demonstration. Um, to power on, you do reach up in and you slide the switch over. Uh, that allows the battery to then power the PCB and always have a hard time recording this screen. I can't really see it, so I'm hoping you guys can. Uh, it says looking for OnStep, connection okay. And there we have connection. Um, so we are now, con this ESP32 is now connected to the Wi-Fi network of this OnStep computer. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go to a star, a bright star. So you can see we are now controlling it. It's in tracking mode. Um, if I want to guide the fastest, the function buttons are now at the top. So function I have set up to increase or reduce uh, slew speed or go to speed. I want to go slower. So this is all talking to the on-step computer uh, via Wi-Fi. You can see, at least I hope, the battery status is not perfect. You can see when you're charging, charging is done with the micro USB on the side. You plug in your standard kind of micro USB, plug it into a USB uh, connection and it will charge the battery. Uh, it will blink LEDs as it's charging, so you have four LEDs. If, it's, if the battery power goes all the way down to one, it'd be blinking one, two, three, four, until it's fully charged. As the battery is consumed, the LEDs will disappear. Um, again, it's not perfect. You can see I do have the three LEDs at the top, and maybe you can. Uh, those are at the brightest settings. Um, this will be an area of change or I won't say improvement but just differences some people may want the LEDs to shine through the bottom um, and we can accommodate that so that's kind of it um, not sure what else to say um, it came together pretty darn well um, so printing is actually quite easy so printing the case uh, you would want to print this main part facing down so it builds up and then you would print these obviously flat. So printing the, the case uh, should be any printer can do it. Um, I do have a multi-material printer uh, that can do multiple uh, filaments at the same time. That's how I got the little clear uh, squares embedded inside the top. Um, but those could, you could remove those and just have holes. Um, you would want to, you can see how bright those LEDs are. You, you, you know, you're outside, you're, you're going to want to dim those down somehow. So that's about it. Um, that's kind of the first introduction. So that is now powered off. Eventually this will time out and not uh, be showing the battery status. So that's about it. Uh, again, this is 2,000 milliamp hours. Uh, it fits rather well. Uh, it could probably go into the top or the bottom area. I would not want to put it on top. There's just, there you can see there's a bump there. There's just not enough. Like I said, I tried to squeeze this vertical, this, this, this dimension as tight down as I possibly could. Um, as with all lithium 
batteries do do be careful uh, know what you're doing uh, these will explode if you puncture them these will catch your house on fire uh, I'll just say they will kill you uh -huh. uh, no really they could um, so do be careful know how to handle these batteries know how to charge them know how to discharge them discharging them can also be a danger um, so that is my little two cents caveat and disclaimer uh, so if you have any questions let me know